What's up, guys? My name's Josh Anderson here at Anderson Realty Group on the Dirty Title Podcast. Um, and one of the main questions we get is how to buy tax delinquent properties in Alabama. So we're going to start there uh, with the main way that you can. Um, we're going to pop over here, and I'm going to put these links in uh, in the description. Um, and as always, uh, we appreciate a like, a share, and um, you can always follow us for more great content. Um, so Alabama Department of Revenue has a nice list here. Um, so we can search by name. We can search by parcel number, if you already know your parcel number. There's a CS number, which is typically um, in the right-hand corner of your bill. Or we can search by uh, county. So I'm very familiar with Jefferson County. We, um, the nice thing about Jefferson County, or maybe it's not nice, is they've got two different divisions. Bessemer um, is here. Birmingham is here. Bessemer is uh, kind of the south portion of the county. And then we've got Jefferson, which is kind of the north portion. And I would say it's probably the bigger one. So we'll get this loaded up. And you can go through here um, and see it's got the parcel number. It's got your CS number we talked about. The county code, um, and we can look at a county map, um, will lay out, you know, which area um, of the county it's in. So we've got the uh, assessed value. We've got the year it was sold in. And then we got the bid amount. And what you can do, because this amount right here um, is the month, or excuse me, the yearly amount. So because this was sold in 2000, uh, we've got 23 years approximately um, of that amount. Obviously, there's tax and interest, so you could um, add a little bit to that. Um, some of these that are a little bit larger, you know, we're at with these 2000, I want to say 2019 and before is at 12%, and 2019 and forward is 8%. So uh, realize that this can rack up quite a bit. Um, so, an example, this property right here that's at you know, valued at five hundred and twenty dollars, um, we're going to be spending somewhere around twenty, probably closer to three thousand dollars, to buy it. So it may not make sense. So that's a quick way to look at it. Um, the other way um, that you guys may not be aware of is um, being able to skip the line. So let's say you find a property here that that looks really good. Um, you go out and look at it, and you're like, all right, let me apply for it, um, and an example, let's look at this one. Like, so this one right here is in 2000. This was the bid amount. So this one may have had um, some brush clearing or had some other stuff. Maybe the house was torn down and they stuck that with it. Um, but let's say you find a property that you like, makes sense money-wise, and then um, you go to apply for it. Because the way the county works or the state works, it's a one-by-one -one model. So person A uh, applies, they get the option to buy it they wait the 10 to 20 days and then if they don't buy it then the next person so on average uh, it takes between one to three years depending on you know the quality of property so if you find if you found a good one um, then it's possible that somebody else has potentially applied for it but there's there's tons here now another option we have um, is with our site Anderson Realty Group altaxsale.com we can come over here. We've got about, on average, anywhere from, I would say, five, you know, between, average between three to 600 per. Um, and because we have the ability, you know, to move forward on them immediately, um, there's not any waiting period. So this is a, a ready to go. So example, we got a property over here in Trustville. Um, it's got a piece of land. It, how much land do we have here? Does it say, yeah, 0.48 acres. Uh, Estimated value uh, is 38000 which I feel like is probably a little low given it's Trustville. Uh, sold in 2012. Um, there's the address right there, um, along with the parcel number. Some of these properties, when it's a just land, it doesn't always get assigned. When they redid the 911 um, models, the house number changed. So we also try to include um, a GPS coordinates as well. Um, if you're interested in moving forward, obviously you can fill in your information there. Um, some of these uh, houses have a little bit more uh, detail. Let's see if we can't find one. So you can also search. So like, hey, let's say I want to be in, you know, Jefferson, or if I want to be here, or I want to only buy deeds. 
So um, you can also search by I want something with a house on it. So an example, this one right here. Um, this is in Adamsville. A pretty decent looking little area. So we have pictures of of the property. We send drivers out. Um, they go and we get pictures of where they can. Obviously, some places are a touch overgrown, and then you obviously get to see you know the full full thing. Um, ones that you feel like maybe you want. To see a little bit more of or maybe if you're out of state you can order photos and videos and what we'll do is we'll go through um, and if there's access they can get a video of it or at minimum they'll get pictures maybe an outside video but those are the two ways to buy um, how to buy tax delinquent properties in Alabama now, I appreciate y'all